The axle is from an old boat trailer that uh, I had to replace because it was undersized and it warped. Um, it has a little bend uh, or bow to it. You can see that I'm going to correct. So I cut it in half and then I'm going to align the spindles with two rails on two different of the axes and the the axle is out of alignment by quite a bit by almost a half inch you can see in the middle how far that gap is so I'm going to just weld that together and because it's going to be piggybacked to a um, another rail it's it'll be plenty strong enough this is the hitch end to put the ball hitch on And this is the rough, dry fit. Now the bottoms of these are going to need to slide, so these need to be very smooth. So I'm working at getting them ground down smooth. file and just file it and knock off anything that, that's rough. And then because it's going to be bolted to the axle with uh, trailer U-bolts, I need to raise the cradle up about uh, a half inch to clear the, the tops of the bolts. So I'm going to stack some washers at the pivot point and then I'm going to put um, some plywood underneath the skids. Eventually I'm going to switch it to a plastic material but until I do that I cut a, piece of, a couple of pieces of plywood and they'll, they'll work fine for now. I welded some cleats to the lower frame with uh, made it with ang little pieces of angle iron and that's what's going to the, the wood is going to be screwed down to that. So here I'm drilling up through the, the holes in the cleats And I'm putting some countersunk holes so that the screws will be flush with the top of the board. I have the lock nuts, or the plastic lock nuts. So the, the cradle will slide on top of the plywood and I'll have the clearance I need for the, the U-bolts that hold the axle on. Here I'm making the anchor points 
for the wheel harnesses. You can see on the front rail that I'm welding to is a, is a piece of angle iron, a uh, two inch angle iron that I just put back to back with another piece of angle iron and welded them together and that's what the front of the cradle is made of. These are some concrete anchors, construction anchors. That's uh, 5 8 inch diameter. I just cut a cut pieces to fit in here. And then for the back harness strap, I'm drilling another 5 8 hole and I'll slide one of those rods all the way through there. You can see I used a piece of 2 inch angle upside down on the to act as the, the rear wheel stop. And that is even with the axle. So the, the wheel of the vehicle will be just in front of the center of gravity.